Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, today's Mike O'Mara show is brought to you by our Amazon page. Please remember to shop Amazon, and when you do, go to MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon, or click the Amazon link on our website. It's the best way to shop, and the best way to support this program. Now, on with the show. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOMaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. How you doing, Adrian? Everything uh, everything all right? Everything going okay? <laughs> wrong wrong mic, Adrian. Wrong mic. Go and grab that one. Go and that one. Then why is this mic here then? Don't ask Why are you questions. here then? Because <laughs> I, thanks to a good, good, great citizen... I, uh, someone turned in my wallet into the CVS parking Do you want to swallow lot. or something? It sounds like no. a spit farm. Let me explain I'm something. Get my the reason together. I'm leading... Uh, quiet for a second. <laughs> the, uh, the reason I'm leading with him, I never really get a chance to chat with him while I see him. So I, I immediately, you guys were talking about him behind the show, uh, before the show started, and I see Adrian uh, come in, and he's there. And, Ponte floss. You know, normally I just... Uh, <laughs> cotton floss. Cotton floss. <laughs> I normally hear Adrian, yes. you know, when he's... When he's telling his stories, and uh, and I I don't get a chance to see him, so I heard you. Uh, what you lost your wallet? I did. Yep. And um, I didn't realize it until last night because. Um, How I, many days was it? It was just one and a half. Okay. Because it was on Tuesday, I believe. Thirty six hours. The worst part is Matt saw it. Pony Boy saw yeah. it in the parking lot and didn't do anything about it. What? <laughs> now, now, see that? Yeah, be, be, no, 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 Rob. This is a teaching opportunity. Okay, yeah, teaching. they're not storytellers. Okay, no. they just throw out non sequiturs. So, Pony saw it. What? Pony saw your wallet. So you lost your wallet. <laughs> what? It fell out of your car or your pants? I believe it fell out of my pocket when I was uh, digging around for my keys. In All my right, so pants. You're in your pants. <laughs> so the wallet falls out in the parking lot of the CVS next uh, door to the studios. Correct. The TMOS studios and your wallet is sitting on the ground and Pony witnessed this or saw this later, saw a wallet sitting there. Apparently when he was pulling out, he saw the wallet. And uh, when I was texting people yesterday, last night, asking if they saw the wallet in the studio, Matt texted back he's like, oh, I did see a, oh, I saw a wallet in the. Um, oh, no, 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 do your impression. Do your impression, please, please. Do, <laughs> do your impression. Adrian Garcia now doing his impression of Pony Boy Matt Bloom. <laughs> so when you talk to him, how did he describe seeing the wallet? I did see a gray wallet when I was pulling out of the CVS parking lot. <laughs> All right, now this I must ask. Pony, if anyone sees a wallet, why would you leave it there? Well, because I'm pulling out and it's time to go home, and I ain't stopping to pick up a wallet and take it inside. Are you not I might, if greedy? I, if I'm in my, are you not Rob, if, if, if I'm in my car and I'm rolling, <laughs> I might not take the time 100 to delay. Chance I would grab it and at least check it out. I'm not you, stopping Rob. on that ramp. Well, yeah, you'd grab it to, and and take the cash if there was cash. <laughs> that in. is not true. I have We've turned, established the fact oh, that you're a grifter. This? I've turned it. I've turned in yeah. things. Yeah, to, yeah but uh, you've several. grifted too. Yeah, you've, you've grifted. grifted. You'll, you'll you've grifted cash. more than anybody at the radio station. I would grifted. never steal from a wallet, especially if it had an ID in it. I would turn it in right away. <laughs> but but if it, it, it had ten, what if it had ten thousand dollars in it? Then I would say I found a wallet that had six thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is that is a karma thing that I wouldn't touch. I would take that right to wherever the business was and turn it in and say. And if I saw his name in it, I would definitely call it. Because you, know, you know, someone I saved to, uh, me. Someone yeah. saved me in New York City. My right. wallet was found in a cab. Yeah, and that I got happens to you. You uh, you actually help you other remember. people. Pony, you remember yeah. the pain. Yes. Yeah. Has anything like that, a phone, a wallet, keys, ever been returned to you? Um, no. I okay, so. so so you just drove right by it, right? Somebody else will do it. Is that what you did? Well, I'm pulling down the ramp, and I said, oh, that looks like a wallet. And then I continued on my way, and then uh, I remembered him uh Well, he asked last a group night. text, hey, anybody seen a wallet? Exactly. I said, oh, I bet that was his wallet. I wasn't did you, on hold that on. Did you get the group text before... You drove by the wallet? No, 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 no. This was like a day after. Oh, a day after. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Pony, ahead, uh, just a quick scenario. You're driving down that ramp. You see a dead body. Do you stop <laughs> or are you continue driving home? Definitely <laughs> driving <laughs> home. It depends. Is it the body of an intern? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I what if you we see uh, What if you see uh, Halle Berry standing over the body of her dying son from yes. Monsters Ball? Do you mm-hmm. stop? Well, I mean, Do you stop uh, like Billy Bob Thornton, yeah, so absolutely. that later on you might get that payoff when she says, "Make me feel good." Yeah, oh, that's yeah. quite the scene. Yeah. yeah, I watched it last night. I'm what sorry. if it is an animated <laughs> Halle Berry with huge eyes? 
Well, again, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Well, you know what? We will have a movie review uh, later in the show because I actually went to the cinema yesterday and there was a trailer for uh, your kind of stuff. There was a trailer for some Hengyo thing that's coming. Hentai. 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 But it was the name of the, the. It was like a character's name. Moa, Moana or uh, Moana not is sure. not hentai. Oh, okay, that's the, no, the this was a, this was oh. a very <laughs> Japanese me. animation style film, and they were talking to the voices of the character actors. And uh, I thought uh, you'd probably dig it. I don't remember I'll, it. I'll I look that up right now. Put it out of my brain. And the thing is, is with Pony and anime though, he likes the kind of anime one watches at home. You don't go to a theater <laughs> for his right. kind of anime because it's more of a one-on-one experience. Did Pontiflas lose any money? Canton Floss. Um, I did not lose any money because I don't have any money to lose, first of all. I didn't have any so cash. there was no cash in your wallet? There was not. And I also... Um, any credit cards? I There was there were some credit cards and some debit cards, and I jumped. I panicked, and I um I canceled all those cards, which sucked. Smart. Because, yeah. I think I mean, you're smart to do that. In the long run, I mean, I guess it Hello, was Hello, is this smart. Diner's Club? <laughs> but in this certain situation, hey, Telly. Yeah. it turned out to be a hassle. Sure. Hello, Friars Club. Can I uh, cancel my membership? <laughs> The cool thing is now you don't even need a wallet because everything you can do with Apple Pay and um, Apple so you even walk around paying with your computer. I mean, I can, with your phone. Yeah, I can pay my gas with I my phone. Uh, I haven't really plunged into that Apple Pay yet. I'm not it's sure. I, uh, oh, it I is trust amazing. It just yet. From someone who can't keep his hands on a wallet. <laughs> well, it's a good backup if you don't have the yeah. physical, right? Mm-hmm. But yes. you found the physical. I did at Fine. CVS. So I guess someone turned it in. Someone turned it in. I called last night into the CVS and told them, um, "Hey, I believe I lost or I dropped my wallet in the parking lot. Has anything turned up?" And she said, "Yeah, something did." And I thanked them. I said that I would come by in the morning to uh, come pick it up. And when I did come, they were being really bitchy to me about it. <laughs> yeah, about picking up my wallet. Well, they don't like <laughs> dealing with only people. Two people there for the entire they store. They want to go yeah. out of business. Yeah, they're trying. Apparently. Self? Did you go to the self serve wallet? Wait, wait, wait! Hold on. I want to. I want to. Let's 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 spotlight that for a second. What do you mean, Pony? They want to go out of business. They're trying. They're basically trying to go out of business. When you go to the uh, the right the what is it across the street? The Apple Store. Yeah, the Apple Store. It's amazing. Yeah. And then the CVS just like smells like the zoo. Urine. It's gross. And there's six self checkouts. One light. Mm -hmm. And so you have to deal with yourself. My CVS crew is doing the best they can. Well, my uh, I will I will give you my Florida perspective on this. My CVS, my insurance company has now switched off of CVS to Walgreens down here in Florida, where that's where I yeah that's where I have to get my prescriptions. I can no longer go to the CVS. No CVS care mark. They they don't do that. No, they they well they do it still. Yeah. But uh, but uh, yeah, I go to the Walmart. Go to the, I go to the Walgreens. Got the nice gentleman who's a over Walmart. there. Have a per, uh, seamless, literally. And hey, here's yeah. the nice thing about drugstores. I don't know if you've been aware of this, but many of them are right across the street from each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so used to true. live in the greatest drugstore district of them all. Right. You right. had, I, was it six drugstores within a quarter yes. of a mile? It really was. <laughs> Remember that yeah. was the time when I walked out of a Walgreens and I got stopped by two guys in a car and they said, hey, man, what you got? And I said, uh, antibiotics. And then they just sped away. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, uh, Adrian, glad uh, that you found your wallet. Glad you're back in the studio. Amen. Glad you're not wearing a ski cap today. Yes. Very happy yeah. to have you here. His today, beautiful right? hair is showing, Mike. Hey, but it's hey, not hey, about Adrian Rob. It's not about that. No, no, no. You're, no. Right. You're right. No, it is about. Uh, it's not about us. Do we it's want not to do this anybody. here or within the body of the show? Do you want me to do it in the body of the show? I think if is we, that your way of telling me. Well, that? I'm just thinking if we do it now, we're going to be insufferably late for the rest of the program. Well, we're taping a little early on this Thursday because someone's got a medical procedure again. Big baby ass. Do they, yeah, make, let's start the show. Do they make appointments outside the window that we record the show? We're actually wondering that inside the studio. Um, I will answer that question when we come back, ass. Uh, we will do that. Yes. <laughs> It's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Well, maybe I was an alcoholic when you were a teenager. But I had a nervous breakdown when my marriage failed and I lost all my money. That's when I started taking drugs. Well, I got over it. And now I just drink like an Irish person. I know, you just drink to relax. You just enjoy your wine. I know you've told me, Mother, you are jealous. 
Because I can drink and you can't take drugs any longer. Because I can handle it and you, you can can't. Handle it? How do you handle it? My drinking does not interfere with my work. Will you please tell me what is this awful thing I did to you when you were a child? I want to know. I want to know. Yeah. Tell okay, me. Okay, fine. From the time I was nine years old, you gave me sleeping pills. That was over the counter medication, and Mom, I gave it to you because you, don't you couldn't give children sleep. sleeping pills. They were they not sleeping sleep. pills. It was store bought, and it was perfectly safe. Now don't blame me. For your drug taking, I do not blame my mother for my misfortunes or for my drinking. Well, you don't even acknowledge that you drink. How could you possibly blame your mother for something you don't even do? Remember my 17th birthday party when you lifted your skirt up in front of all those I people? I did not lift including my that guy, skirt. Michael. It twirled up! You only remember the bad stuff, don't you? You only remember that my skirt accidentally twirled up. And you weren't wearing any underwear. Well. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, <laughs> Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's Mike. As we continue our obsession with Carrie Fisher and Debbie yes. Reynolds, that's a movie called Postcards from the Edge with Shirley MacLaine and Meryl Streep and uh, the uh, the wonderful relationship between a mother and daughter. Isn't that lovely? I want that's you to know, I watched that clip about 17 times before I decided, should we play it? Should yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, we are yeah. you on the fence about that movie a little yes. bit? Are yeah. you just on the fence a little bit about? It, I, the I don't movie remember doesn't it that know, well. The so. movie doesn't know what it wants to be. Right. It, it doesn't. It pulls at your heart. It wants. That kind of seems wanders, an example. It? It's yeah. very, very tragic. But the punchline is killer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are live from the Fiverr Studios in Washington D.C. The Mike O'Mara Show is on the air. The Mike O'Mara Show, a national podcast and radio show with an incredibly loyal following around the world. TMOS listeners get it. If you're here, so do you. You can reach us eight 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 nine two zero more. That's eight 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 nine two zero six six seven three. Phone number. In the <laughs> net. phone, uh, <laughs> or you can go to mikeomerashow.com. Online, on air, on now. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. Today, brought to you by this wonderful location that I want you to visit. You want to get away? Do you want to get away? Who doesn't yes, want to get away please. this time of year? Oh my goodness! Why not leave the cold weather behind and relax in the Caribbean? Yes. Oh my yes, God! Please. I have found an amazing getaway at an even more amazing price. The Pineapple Beach Club in Antigua. Yes, I have been yes. right now for just $149 per person per night, plus a $250 resort credit. You can enjoy an adults-only, all-inclusive getaway on a white sandy beach. Go to pineapplebeachclub.com to make your reservation today. The Pineapple Beach Club is all-inclusive. That's the only way to go, really, yes. in my humble opinion. Meals, snacks, drinks, yes, even the booze, mm. but even includes all taxes and gratuities, so no hidden fees. That is a vacation. Yes. Getting on a plane, getting off the plane, getting to your resort, and you don't have to think about money for the entire time you're there. That is a true Good to go. vacation. 30 acres of tropical foliage and gorgeous scenery. Only 30 minutes from the airport and capital city of St. John's. And it's adjacent to Devil's Bridge National Park. Your $250 resort credit can be used for dining, sailing, the gift shop, the safari tour, or spa services. Are you ready to leave the frosty weather behind? Yes, Are you? Please, please. Get some well-deserved R&R. Don't wait. This offer expires soon. Go to pineapplebeachclub.com or 800-772-8711 to book your all-inclusive stay. $149 per night per person, ages 16 and up. You can enjoy everything I just mentioned and more, plus a $250 resort credit. That's pineapplebeachclub.com. See the website for complete details. Antigua, a beautiful island. Great people on the island. Yeah. Phenomenal. Phenomenal experience. I love that place. It's out of the way. It's not like some of the other more, you know, busily traveled islands. You'll have a great time there. So go, go, go. Go in the <laughs> no. Vacation idea in the no. Yeah, Especially. injection day. Uh, we will get to the mailbag in just a second okay, here, but okay. let me uh, address the uh, question. Oscar, before the break, you had a uh, question about my uh, oh, procedure did? today. We're taping early oh. uh, so that I can go to you will, my can procedure you Please to refresh my memory. Uh, so, yeah, you said, uh, you know, uh, why do all the <laughs> procedures I have fall in the window? Of He's the doubled show? down on dickishness. 
<laughs> would, would you like to know? So I stand there and I wait for the little lady with the pearl necklace to hey. Uh, hey, 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 hey. To, to give me the answer. Uh, so I go in and the guy says, we can try this. Uh, he said, when would you like to do it? I would like. I said, I would like to do it as soon as possible. ASAP. He said, we can do it Thursday. I said, that's wonderful. He said, well, go out and see the lady, and then uh, she'll make the appointment for you. So we go out and we see the lady, and she said, the earliest I have available is Friday. I said, well, the doctor told me Thursday. So she says, well, let me check. And she goes back, and she goes, oh, yes, we do have Thursday. I said, that's wonderful. Uh, she said, uh, you have to be here. Uh, he does his procedures at 1130. You have to be here at uh, an hour early at 1030. And uh, that's uh, when you have to do it. I said, is there anything, as I always do, is there anything after 12 noon? Mm. And she said, no, he doesn't do his procedures at any time after 12 noon. Oh, so okay. that is that is the what answer to that question. What about the other times? What do you mean? The other times where you've had doctor appointments and we'd had to flex I the always show. ask. I always I, I just always... feel like you don't like doing anything after noon, so you like to squeeze everything within the six to noon hour so you have your afternoon free. You which mean is like fine. my first physical therapy uh, appointment on Monday at four fifteen in the afternoon? No, no, no. Just in general Ooh, on the podcast. Oh, in his face. Mic drop. face. Mic drop. And my Mike face. Drop. There you go. Well there's just, you, you, just you gotta, literally dropped a you've mic. You've got a pattern. <laughs> And Rob no, no, and I no. sat here and said, what is his pattern? I don't have a pattern. I don't have a pattern. Well, I, I, I try to get this crap done whenever I can get it. And uh, like I, I try to get it done. I haven't had my teeth cleaned in two years because my <laughs> dentist is booked in the mornings. <laughs> Let's see your I, smile. I, oh, you're doing fine. He looks well, just, that's a that, that's the answer to your question. That's <laughs> that's that's it is. But this one is... Uh, a, a to be perfectly honest with you, the uh, bonus show, which is going to be the Oscar Rob show this week, which I'm very grateful for, Stacked and packed. It, is is simply me not knowing how I'm going to be after this is done, and uh, you know, bonus. I'm like, uh, I feel like a little Madeline Kahn this week, to be honest with you. Tired? Who's, the who's oh, oh you're tired? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little uh, I'm a little out of it, and I don't know whether I be uh, you know kind of lollygagging through that and I wanted to make sure it was sharp and you guys are sharp and also you know I, I will I will. Uh, that's the last time I will ever explain this on the you show you never have to address it again go to bat, I will much. go to bat for you and say this when you have yes. something towards the end of the week which this is it's a Thursday yes. appointment the sense of dread that I found out about on Tuesday the sense of dread is palpable because you don't know what to expect whether or not it's going to hurt and whether or not it's going to be very successful no, so that, that is, uncertainty I found out about is no this, good uh, this appointment on Tuesday was confirmed on uh, Wednesday morning and mm -hmm. then I uh, let you guys know as soon as I knew and that's uh, you know and I look I I'm Mike, I am it's your saying show. Do what you want. We're there's here a to ten percent chance. The other thing is that I'm more concerned about is that I'm getting the needle needle today, and I'm not sure whether this will be my fourth go around with having something uh, like injected it's, into the air. Have them we'll go in happens. between your fingers so they don't show the track marks. <laughs> Similar <laughs> needle to the the hip that was replaced. Yeah. yeah okay. But I mean, so, apparently he does it a different way, and he oh, takes yeah, an X-ray, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and this is a procedure, so I have no idea what I'm uh, you know going to have happen. It we'll may work. Is it there a possibility that your other hip, the one that the not the bionic one, the one that yeah. needs the injection, yeah. will respond better to the injection than your bionic your previous? You never know. Had? You know because he's going into a very specific area, and we're going to see what happens. And I don't know. And I'll I'll keep my fingers crossed. You know, I mean, I'm doing everything, throwing everything, but the how much thing pain are you in compared to? I got an hour of uh, consistent sleep, probably one hour. I was in bed all night long, but I uh, but I got an hour consistently. I was oh, up every hour. Wow. Jesus! So you have to like with, uh, with the pain, you get up to walk it off, or do you just yeah. lay in bed? Go or up, take a leak, take a leak. Yeah. Do you get like a calambre, as my mom would you, say, a cramp. Uh, no, what it's just a it? calambre. It's, oh, it's a, ay, 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 calambre. You'll, you'll lie, you'll lie on, on your side, for example, and then you will wake up because at a certain point, the actual weight of the joint and that side of your body uh, moves the hip in uh, oh. such a way that you wake up in uh. pain. And so I will get up, take a leak, and then I sat for an hour between midnight and one o'clock. I just sat. Uh, and, and worked on the computer because it was just ridiculous. I didn't want to oh, lie in bed anymore and well, try to do it. We're all crossing our fingers. Yeah, best the best thing possible. for me. Yes. The best thing for me is when I'm so tired that I actually sleep through it. That's when uh, that's when it works for me and I can get like so five tired. hours. And no ambient. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't do any drugs. I, I take my uh, blood thinner and uh, I may take the uh, the old uh, drug and we'll see what happens. But that's it. I'm, I'm very optimistic. Fingers and I'll crossed. Let you know, this is I'll the most you know positive health the... update we've had in weeks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. health update in the in 2017. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, so shall we far start? the year is great. Shall we start the goddamn mailbag, you bastards? 
ungrateful sons of bitches. Anyway, uh, now it's tighter it's and brighter about you. you. Yeah. No. It's right. about you. No. 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 In the no. It's all about no. you. No. It's all about you. No. Thank you very much. Happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, happy 35th birthday to Sterling Burke Jr. Hey! Woo! The sexiest man in Bowie, Maryland. Nice. Thanks for all the support, Sterling. What an in- I've never heard the name I love Sterling. the name. I think it's very cool. You know, we had a listener years ago on the old Don and Mike show that called us, and uh, she was kind of uh, rednecky, and I said, what suburb of Virginia do you live in? And she said, Sterling. <laughs> yeah. And of she course, dropped Mike. the consonant. <laughs> of course, yeah. Mike. The best people live in Sterling, and the creme de la creme live in Sterling Park. Sterling Park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what if that uh, holds true for the rest of the country? That uh, many suburbs, if you put the park afterwards, well, there's a Manassas uh, Park, is there not? Oh, Dicey yeah. Manassas Park, and that Dicey, would be and, Dicey. <laughs> well, and so we've got two examples of a regular town, and then the town with the park on the end of it. That's a little bit uh, College you know, Park. Hey, College Glover College Park, park. is not bad. The Glover Park is worse than Georgetown. Let's be honest. Mm. Glover Park, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know it's interesting. Well, it's uh, the I'm Brooklyn sure. of Georgetown. <laughs> By the way, if you ever want to, uh, you know, look at the top ten lists of places to live in Florida, check out Cape Coral Park. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, all the houses a, have wheels. You know, it's funny because I live down here and I'm sure. uh, very close to Cape Coral, and I see uh, lists of best places to live. And it's got canals and boats, and people mm-hmm. can access the Gulf and stuff. But you know, every day it's like eleven homes were burglarized simultaneously on Tuesday <laughs> night, right before the burglar got hit by a car by a drunk driver. Yeah. It's just kind of an interesting. Uh, you know, Mike, a canal on the surface seems like such a nice thing. Oh, sure. Yeah, but you know, not always. Well, it's the first uh, question I ever ask when I uh, am inquiring about uh, a neighborhood. I'll always look the realtor in the eye and say, <laughs> where does the poop go? <laughs> anyway. Um, in the Sterling Park Canal. <laughs> <laughs> Monday was uh, Danny Rucker's birthday. Happy birthday to the Mother Rucker. Yes. There we go. Nice. Uh, Rich Moracle uh, turned 52 last Monday. 52, Rich. Uh, like weeks in a year or cards in a deck. <laughs> Happiness always, Rich. Blessing. That's a new that, one, I think. Is, that's, that sounds very Weeks Rob's in the Spiewet. year, cards that, in the deck. It sounds very Rob's Didn't Spiewet, care for the tone royal. of the letter he wrote, so I changed it. Okay. <laughs> Blessings, uh, my good you friend. Did, you done good. Happy birthday, number uh, four, two. Happy birthday, number four. Oh, I misspelled four. I'm sorry. I mean numeral four. Like like a four year old? Yeah, he's four years old. Like okay, happy deck. birthday uh, number four. Well, <laughs> like I knew you were drinking based on the previous one. <laughs> happy birthday number four to Asa Harvey. Oh, just like Asa Buchanan from our favorite soap opera. I knew you would bring him up. He was a great soap actor. Oh, we loved Asa Buchanan. Wore a hat uh, all I the time. I think he's no longer with us, right? He's passed on. Mm, I don't know. He I'll looked healthy at the time. Uh, please know that your dad's love for you is like the universe, expanding exponentially every day with no in, in, end in sight. Well, four-year-old's not going to respond to that. Yeah, this is all about dad. But, I, you know, <laughs> his name was Asa. I liked the dad. letter. Asa, very good. Uh, happy birthday to Hawk, who uh, considers <laughs> the words of TMOS to be gospel and will scream blasphemer to anyone who disagrees. That's good. I Here's like that. Hawk screaming. Hawk. Hello, Hawk. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I love that. All right, moving on to the letters now. Mike, Rob, Oscar, and Pony Boy. My name is Brian Williams. Not the MSNBC guy. Oh. Uh, darn it. My name is Brian Williams. <laughs> uh, no, he's not the same my, guy. My I, father and I sit down and discuss the fall from grace that Brian Williams has experienced. Pretty amazing. When you see him on MSNBC, and I watched him during the election coverage, you know, he is still every bit. The, the, in his own mind, he I believe. He's still the on number the nightly one news. Yeah, yeah, right? He thinks he's still yeah, that. But, but he looks like nightly thank news, you. doesn't so he? So my father and I are sitting there, we're like, does he know he's on a different set? <laughs> yeah. Does he realize that he's yeah. no longer on network television? Do you suppose yeah. he looks at his makeup mirror and he says, this is Brian Williams and I'm fooling everybody? <laughs> no, I think he is probably uh, lucky to have a gig after the whole, uh, you know, fast and loose with the truth thing. But I believe that, you know, if it's on merit, you look at Brian Williams, you say, you know, that poor guy. 
guy. He deserves to be in that network chair, but uh, you know, but he lied. That's why. Uh, he got and, in and he didn't just come out with it. And as, as soon as they caught him, right? He, he said, didn't yeah, just go, I was, I, I was, I was fudging bad. it. Yeah, he didn't do that. He uh, tried to cover his ass. Fox's uh, daughter, yeah. though. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> Brian Williams <laughs> turned forty-eight this week. Uh, I want to spin the wheel to hear James Garner. Wish me happy birthday. Brian Williams from Moline, Illinois. Let's uh, spring the, uh, the, the lovely that's good. Let's see what happens. All right. Rockford. 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 Hey! Hey, wait. Well, hey, diddly die. <laughs> yeah, all right. Brian Williams. Listen, Brian, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. I hope you get everything you want. Hope you get a big, nice shirt with nice buttons on it, shiny <laughs> buttons. Hope you get a cupcake. Hope you get anything you want. Hope you get a new car. If you desire that, doesn't matter to me. But just remember, if you cross me, I'm going to kick your ass across the state line, and I'm wearing the boots that can do it. Jim Rockford out. Thank you. I don't know why he would want shiny buttons on his shirt. I don't know. In in, in the uh, the movie that I only based that impression on, he gets a new shirt. Yeah, Western uh, shirt. Hello, guys. Uh, this Friday is my box wife Stephanie Larson's birthday. Her birthday always gets overlooked in the chaos of Christmas and our youngest child's birthday. She always says, I don't need anything. Ugh. I feel bad that we always kind of blow her off on birthday day, so this year I want to change it. Stephanie says you guys are like her extended family, and nothing would make her happier than a shout-out for her birthday. I gave her a bonus subscription as a birthday gift, and we always Woo! use the TMOS Amazon tab. Thank nice. ye. That's from uh, Scott Larson. And Stephanie, I've seen that name a lot. She's been a fan for a long, long time. Yes. So let's give her the the absolute best birthday song Stephanie could ever get. Really, yeah. I want a, a two, a, a three. Hey, 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 hey. I don't need well anything, off. Larson. <laughs> you know what my mom used to say? What? Just your love. I just need your love. Yeah, but oh, you so call so them just... on that, and they call you a jerk. That's right. Yeah, just your love. Yeah. Sweet family, family portrait. Oh. No, we're all friends with our own Facebook. Yes. Oh. Oh. Mom, all right, settle down, pony. <laughs> Married. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For nursing <laughs> services. Anyway, uh, dearest <laughs> sirs, Mike, what about when there was one piece of pie left? <laughs> she'd she'd chow it down right at the kitchen sink. <laughs> She'd scarf that not, sucker not even down. A fork. Yeah, it's like you know, you want a crumb, uh, dearest sirs. I'm writing today to wish my good buddy Nathan Labori a very happy 37th birthday. Nathan is an Amazon shopping, Omaha steak buying, vinyl record listening kind of a guy. Nice guy. Because he lives in Maryland and I live in New York. We only see each other a couple of times per year. On a recent visit, I was shocked to learn that his wife neglected to purchase him even one Christmas present this oh, year. Oh, no. I kind of <laughs> lived with that. I kind of dealt with that. Yeah. This Christmas, I, I this past yeah, Christmas, I didn't get a Christmas gift. And, what? And, 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 yeah, and After I got all I didn't, you've done. Yeah, I got Carla, her mom, visiting for Christmas. That was my Christmas gift to her. And then later, I bought her a little uh, lighthouse necklace. That, uh, that no, no, uh, no, 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 uh, no. When when she turns on the light, yes, do yeah. the lights come on? Yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. When yes. she hits her turn with the wallet. And mm -hmm. she takes the wallet to the grocery store to pay for yes. the food on the table. Yes, okay. The you're going to get me through. in trouble. Yes, you're going to get when me in trouble. When she hits that faucet, is there yes. hot and cold water? Mm. Yes, there is. And yes, you, you got coal. I got coal. Uh, but anyway, it was a mutually agreed upon coal exchange between us. And then Woo! I asked for a small television for the uh, main house, and she let me get it. And then I bought her a little necklace. That's, uh, she that's let you we get were. it with your own money. Yeah. I know. I know. There they are. They're my balls. Right up on the mantle. Thank Christmas you. Christmas giver in the... No. In the... She gave a no. son. That's true. Uh, but he had something well, to do with it. Getting back to... <laughs> Getting back to Nathan Labori, uh, Nathan purchased his own gifts, wrapped them, and then opened them on Christmas oh, that morning. Is so oh my that God. sad. Oh. Nathan. Jeez. Personally, That's I believe rough. that the lack of Christmas presents is due to his awful hipster haircut. <laughs> Never seen it. Uh, but I posed the question, what would you fellas do if your significant other completely stiffed you on Christmas? Yours in Christ. Carrie Hoffman. Well, I will tell you, if it's mutually agreed upon, like Rob and Carrie do for uh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, is that what uh, Shannon got you? The, so we the, did the that same bit knowing that I was going to get her something because I'm not some sort of monster, and right. she gave me these gloves. What uh, what kind well, of gloves are they? They're, they're just... They're, she probably had them in her closet and never <laughs> used them. 
and then just wrapped them up and gave them to me. <laughs> you got gloves? And I thought this was like a bit. I'm like looking through. I'm like, oh, I Hey, guess. but you wore them to work today, so at least you like them. You like them enough to wear them to work, right? Mike, yes, but I also like slippers, and I put them on once in a while. Like, it's not <laughs> something I love. So you're, you're not a fan of the gloves. They're not like special gloves. So I, I will tell you, just quick sidebar. Yes. Day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, we're in Orlando. And right. I, and I said, <laughs> I got, I, I, I was like, don't open the trunk. Because there's something special in there for you, and I don't want you to see it. I'll be wrapping it myself. And she said, I thought we weren't getting each other gifts this year. And then I looked at her, and I said, <laughs> like, you really think that we're just going to punt on Christmas? You know what the you weirdest know, I- coincidence was is that Mike said to Carla, don't open the trunk, because that's where her mother was. Then stop <laughs> it. Behave yourself. <laughs> Behave. She had water. All right. Moving right along. Hey, guys. I uh, just wanted to pass along one of my favorite aspects of the show, Mike's use of unusual words. Oh, I like this. This is good. The most recent one I've learned from him is hunyak. I have never heard anyone else hunyak. use this term. Not sure where I grabbed it from. It is really uh, funny. According to Wiktionary, it has three meanings. Rural farmer, homesteader, hayseed, clodhopper, dirt farmer, yokel, or hick. Good words all. Number two, wild or uncouth. That's okay. Yahoo, oaf, or lout. Number three, <laughs> foolish or stupid. Rube, simpleton, ignoramus, or know nothing. Oh, you stupid hunyak. That's right. There it is. I love that. Mike, we're uh, the hunyaks for telling them no presents. That's right. <laughs> oh, There are many theories as to its origin, but it seems it was originally applied to hard scrabble uneducated farmers who came from Eastern or Central Europe. The Hun is short for Hungarian. How about it that? Can, it can be. And by the way, Rob, when you uh, put it in your mailbag today, uh, which you write beautifully every week, yes. uh, you spelled it hunyak, like like Baltimore Hun, but when that is it should how, be H U N Y A C. That is how the gentleman who researched it spelled it. I questioned it, but that's what it was on in Wiktionary. When I say it in my mind, I'm spelling H U N Y A C K. I agree or, with you. Or or Y A K. Even that's it. Uh, it I can be used you. in a pejorative way, but also a familiar, friendly, joking manner, as in. How should I know? I'm just a hunyak from western Pennsylvania. Online sources say usage of the term peaked in 1927. There you That's are. why Ooh. this show is state of the art. I, lo- I still love the word. I still it had love fallen the word. into disuse by 1980. Mm-hmm. I'm curious. Swing how 80s. did Mike learn the word? Uh, well, one learns a word when one is called that for his entire youth. <laughs> so tragic. Really? Right. No. I, no oh. I have no idea. No. Uh, Go best- buy your stupid television, you hunyak. <laughs> Brad Take Lindley. off the hockey pads, you honyak. That was a great letter, Brad. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Dear Mike, Rob, Oscar, Pony, and any interns that are enriching their lives by being there on this very day. Today, I believe we've got Adrian and uh, do we have anybody else? We've got in, uh, Ashley and Mac. We've got Mac. Ashley and Mac. we got a full house Oh, and today. I have some inside skinny because I am the guy in the know. In the know. About the Mac. Know. Really? really? About Mac. Yes. Ooh. Does he have his wallet? No, but Max, I have data. No, hold it. Hold it. I want to okay. spotlight oh, it. I want to spotlight it. Let me get through this first in the <laughs> Wait now. Till I tell the world. Uh, dear <laughs> Mike, Rob, Oscar, Pony, and all the interns, I hope uh, to awake this morning thanking the Lord above that I live to see my fabulous Fruit Fritters 50s and to be able to hear my favorite show, TMOS. Mike. I wonder if it's possible to pull the one-armed bandit of impressions to bring forth Jack Cassidy to wish me a happy birthday and talk up <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck's After the Leaven. Sincerely, your Amazon portal using bonus show alumni, Polly Name Barry Christine. When someone comes wow. up with like talking up an obscure record by Jack Cassidy, and that's sort of like putting whipped cream on a steak. It's two yes. great ideas that don't necessarily go together. They don't go together. That's probably why he's going to win. Let's pull right. the wheel and see what happens. Here we go. Cigarette lighter, <laughs> cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter. Hey, there it winner. is. Oh, bring him in there. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Jack Cassidy. Hi there, fellas. How are you? Have you ever <laughs> done any disc jockeying? Uh, 
there was a small station in Peoria, Illinois, <laughs> where I, uh, I, I spent a few moments between my summer stock theater gig and uh, before I traveled to Los Angeles, and I was a fine DJ. And I note that uh, Paulie Nameberry Christine has requested me talking up Engelbert Humperdinck. Is that correct? Before oh, you do the Engelbert thing, I have to tell you, a couple weeks ago, <laughs> I was uh, drinking one weekend, and I got on Netflix. One, one weekend. That's and, unusual, Speedwell. And, and I watched your, your episode <laughs> That's like of Columbo. to you. <laughs> I watched the great Santini episode of Columbo ah, where you're the, the Nazi magician. <laughs> Nazi magician in the now. <laughs> but I just wanted to applaud you. Great yes. performance. Wonderful Are uh, you stuff. ready for my DJ please, Trist? Please, yes. uh-huh. Let's go hit it, boys. Beautiful music Jack Cassidy. <laughs> San Francisco. Hey, everybody. It's Jack Cassidy on the Jack Cassidy Show. Setting out a dedication to the lovely Polly, named Mary Christine. I wish you happy birthday, and don't smoke in your recliner after you've been drinking brandy with friends. You could die. Jack Cassidy. <laughs> so I say to you to sleep. I mean, <laughs> that fellow. is Thanks best of tacos. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Great. Thank you I like him wonderful. throwing his name in at the end. <laughs> Polly, name Barry, Christine. That's yeah. wonderful. Uh, moving right along. Hello, Mike. I have been listening to your show for years. In fact, as a young, healthy male, I remember getting one of my first ragers while listening to an episode of Strip Trivia. Oh, gross. Oh, I never <laughs> really thought about I can relate. About it I can relate. I was like, oh, I, can. And Mike, I, I wonder actually, what's happening in that studio. I made this letter a lot less graphic than it was when it arrived. It was uh, on a trip out of town to see family, and I was in a car with my dad, brother, and uncle. Oh, nice. I'll always look fondly back on that day. It introduced me to your show. Anywho, I applaud Mike for his relationship with Carla. My dad is in his 60s. Thank you. And uh, has been dating women, a woman 30 years younger than him for a decade. And he is uh, in half the shape you are. Well, that's bad. Uh, so to you and my dad and the many out there like you, thanks for the hope. You've inspired me not to worry so much about what I'm doing now because I know that somewhere down the line it gets better. Okay. <laughs> Name an address withheld. <laughs> P.S. If you end up reading this, can you please not use my real name? If my wife hears it, she will kill me. <laughs> well, right. we'll just call him Rager. Is yeah. That will, uh, Rager. We'll that? All right. Very good. Rager. And in the I, now. Uh, I, I hold in my hand the final letter. <laughs> Yay! Thank, you. Thank you. May a diseased yak <laughs> put a hoop skirt on your sister. Hi-oh. Anyway. Hi-o. Dear Mike, Rob, Oscar, Pony, and the menagerie of interns, I wanted to introduce you to the Mike O'Mara Show's official youngest listener. You see, Harper Ray Sullivan will be welcomed to my world on or about April 18th, 2017. We're oh. now just past the stage of my wife's pregnancy where the baby books tell you it's helpful to start talking to the baby so she'll be familiar with your voice when she arrives. Like Carrie, my lovely wife, likes her sleep, so I imagine that uh, a lot of late-night trips around the block in the Jeep will be my responsibility once the baby arrives. With that in mind, I've taken to playing TMOS to my unborn child, so she's familiar with the background noise of her infancy. Wow. It's the dulcet sounds of Mike's baritone, the shrill cadence of Oscar's laugh, and the sweet melody of Rob's little sounds <laughs> that will be soothing my future spawn back to sleep come this fall. It may also finally be the push over the edge I've been looking for to turn my wife into a loyal listener, or more likely, based on her enthusiasm for this idea, the cause for an untimely divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be untimely with the newborn and all. Thanks for all the years of funny, very respectfully, Ryan Sullivan, Ooh. Harris County Sheriff's Office, Houston, Texas. Nice. That is a great mailbag. Thank you for all of those. We appreciate it. We will take a break, and I want to hear... All yes. about Intern Mac from Me Oscar too. Intel. when we come back. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. Well, I'll take whatever I want. The autumn wind is a pirate. And Nikki Diamond is like the hair of the dog after a night out with the Hells Angels. Fantasy guy in the know. <laughs> the playoffs are here. There's only one place to get the best football analysis from the prognosticator of Perump. Best show on the network. Brought to you by Pond World, where you'll be treated like a king. Follow Nikki on Facebook at <laughs> Nikki D. Light him up. Nikki Diamond, light him up. 
We'll have them on the tomorrow, editing. Mike. We'll have them on tomorrow. I love the editing on that promo more than any other one. It's perfect. It's so beautifully choppy. I love it. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Movement. There's nothing better than the feeling of having a beautiful watch on your wrist. Uh, you just look better and you feel better. MVMT watches can elevate your look and your mood without deflating your wallet. Movement watches are the best. I got one. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. All right. Here we go. Right over here. Here's my movement nice. watch. Nice. Watch, watch in the know. Watch there we go. in the know. Movement lets you skip the hassle of the mall, shop online, and get a great deal. Watches starting as low as $95 at a department store. The same watch is going to set you back four to 500 bucks. How so? Because Movement figured out that selling online eliminates the middleman and the retail markup. Classic design, quality construction, and styled minimalism. That means they are beautifully simple, and simple designs are beautiful designs. The Look people in movement that. are in the know. They That's really right. are. Always get the best possible price. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmtwatches.com slash TMOS. This watch has a really clean design, and I've been getting compliments on it. I love this watch. Now is the time to step up your watch game. Go to movementwatches.com slash TMOS and join the movement. Well, always fun on Thursday to have uh, the mailbag and always fun to uh, do a show and then go get a giant needle shoved into your hip right at the <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's for the best. Mike. Yes. I Look, I am not optimistic because I've had it done before, but I will let you know. Be optimistic. I, if, I come in, uh, if I come in Friday and you see me uh, bouncing off the walls, you'll know. I'll know immediately. I'll know within probably by 7 o'clock tonight whether it is taken hold. What it does, they give, you, hold. they give you a local thing and they give you a shot there to kind of numb up the area to yes. put the actual injection in. Right. And, you, and that, the last time I got one of these, I thought that was actually the final deal and then it slowly wore off oh the local, the local actually and as the local comfortable for a while as the local uh wore off tell me you want supreme crazy. this time mm -hmm. give us uh, the burger supreme uh so mac uh yes. you said you have some intel mm -hmm. intel on mac the intern we slack, have, slack and we've got a plethora of pinatas and by pinatas i mean interns on this program and they all provide some sort of value to the cause right i love them i'll tell you we have just uh over the last few years we have had a run of interns that uh just what's great about having a business that brings interns into the fold is that they are all so unique they all bring their personalities in mm -hmm. and one of the big reasons i love interns because it's a great experience for them to show how a show like this works what we do but at the same time and they they you know they basically help with a lot of uh, work for rob and pony and they're and those learning guys. as well and they're, they're yeah. learning but i love just bringing their personalities yes. on the show and finding out about their lives and then we have relationships with interns that that i've had we're going on well over a decade inside with many of them. and outside of the show i yeah, started as, i started as an intern you did way back when and then you 25 got a job years ago yeah so with that perspective i work with mac now on tech 411 right <laughs> is that new episode edited yet it's going to be today okay <clears throat> it's thursday so oh we recorded on sunday uh so uh, all right a lot of so, the tech wow. is obsolete yeah. by now first week of school <laughs> so oh, oh, oh first week of school sorry <laughs> well this is a new variable because i mean you know he's done school before but he's never actually attended <laughs> let me uh mac if you may if i can just interject since i'm observing this discussion here let me direct your attention to a gentleman to your immediate right uh, who actually edits and produces a show within a couple of hours after we tape it. <laughs> Maybe less than that. What would be the average, Rob? About I would a half say, an hour? I would say 18 minutes. Yeah. About 18 minutes after we tape it. And that's when you Sorry. cuss. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. That's a, that's a sidebar. This is not what this is about. I know. I just but he needs you know, to tell you that. When I heard Thursday and they did tape it on Sunday, I'm like, get your ass in gear, boy. We want to make sure CES is over. <laughs> Before we post in the know, in the net. So new episode of Tech Four One One. If you're listening to this on coming Thursday, today. coming today by Very midnight, exciting. Jan twelfth. <laughs> so, uh, a uh, Ralph Rice, thank you for the sweet Caps game uh, hockey tickets Fry. yesterday. Pittsburgh, right? It was yes, last night yeah, Pittsburgh? He, oh my God, you get the lucky game. He was there for the thousandth goal of Ovi. Within 40, oh, wow. 45 seconds in, Obi hits his thousandth goal. Big Boom, Caps bam. win last night too. The, yes, Big Caps win. I hope to see. 
I nice want to see game. Fried uh, when they Sweet come down game. to Tampa. I think I'm going to roll up and see to, uh, Fried up there. I want to see some hockey. I miss hockey. I he's got it. tickets for me and Robert on Friday too. He's been oh, so he's generous. Fantastic. He he thank you. The best. The best. That's good. Ralph's a good guy. Thank you, buddy. We appreciate. So it. I, I'm keyed up from the game. Uh, it, 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 there, was, there was no after party. I went with my friend Ken, and so I, I raced home and I said, Shannon. Hi, I'm Ken. Just saw the just. You met, you met Ken, right? You, you met, met Ken, Ken. You met Ken. Ken and Tracy. You met Ken. Yeah. You, you oh, know Ken's yeah, last yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what his last name is? What's that? Doll. <laughs> <laughs> no genitals Sorry. at all. It's very strange. <laughs> pony. <laughs> Thank you, Pony. How dare pony you? with the tip in with the comedy <laughs> tip in. Yeah, I like in the so, yeah. <laughs> Kenny's got a kid, and he's got to get home to his family. I should get home as well. We've got an 8 a.m. start. Sure. Start. So it was an adult evening. We had not no less than three tall boys apiece and went home, right? So it's about as I expect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> enough to, by the third period, you, you got a pretty good little Day buzz. drive, well, the mm-hmm. caps were winning, Ubered home, we're good. Mm-hmm. I walk in the house and I say, Shannon, there's no way I can go to bed right now. I need to, I need to do a little online gaming which I've gotten into lately where I play on the computer and I play with... Okay, now, this is where i got to jump in a second. Because okay, this, is, there this has been, is fascinating. There has been an undercurrent in studio that I've not brought up because Oscar has the equipment to do this online gaming. And I've, had, had it, I've had it for a month. A month. But the <laughs> thing is... time. He gets a lot of grief from little Mac because he's not using it. And so Mac online games... Always, because so when we uh, do, you have the actual uh, hardware for this. I, do you have like I, he's a, had a it since before Christmas? Or... I bought it on Amazon. It's called an Black Alien Party. Aurora, right? Mac, yeah. where does this rate? Where does the Alien Aurora rate on the game? Oh, he, he tries to he tries to poo poo all over it all the time. It's oh, do you a really? computer, but it's overpriced. It's because, decent, okay, but overpriced. Right. Yeah. Pony, is this a pretty good piece of equipment that he's got here? Again, Mac is right. It, it, Alienware makes nice stuff, but it costs so much money because it, it, you could just build your own. Yeah, but Oscar thought easier. Alienware was built by his family. <laughs> 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 the guys wow. are right. I didn't have okay. time to build my own. There was a fire sale on Amazon, and my, <laughs> my man Todd sent me a link to it, and I said, I'm in, right? Right. Now, okay. we've all heard the stories of these Asian kids dying at the computer playing these PC games. Have, have we? Not? Because they don't, they don't eat, they don't they drink, don't move, they don't do anything. Right? They right. were found in their bedroom, keeled over because they, they're malnutritioned and they've been playing. They're malnutritioned, and, Mike. A lot of it is de- dehydration, isn't it? That yeah, they just they don't even just drink any die, water. They right? Mm. Yeah. So I'm there in front of my PC and my game is Overwatch and my gamer tag for those of you out there in Overwatch land is Oscar Santana 1777. Hit me up. <laughs> wow, you are into it. Are there wow. 1,776 yeah. other no. Oscar Santanas that you needed to choose that number? <laughs> a lot of Oscars out there. Generator. They always give you the, the numbers. It's a whole thing. I didn't know. And by the way, Mac, that was a joke. You don't need to There was a random number generator. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, up in Maine, up in Maine, I, uh, I generated a new uh, avatar and name for my gaming. Yeah. What's that? But I don't play online. I have the option. I'm not going to tell anybody. I don't oh, know. I don't. I play offline. I play all my games. Well, Far you, Cry. You can tell. The, you Far can Cry tell Three. I play. Offline. I play offline. Far Cry. It's up there in. Uh, in What's Maine. your new yeah. avatar? I don't remember. Some. Oh. Uh, some but but some look, is it is it a Johnny One Hip? No, it's not Johnny One Hip. <laughs> Thanks for asking me. Now so, you know. You know, I'm at the point of the show now where I'm starting to think. About I know. The I know. All right. You see, so, my arms are folded and all this. Mike, you know, it's he twelve. He is the defensive pros, it's posed man. Twelve twenty in the morning, right? right. So at twelve twenty a.m. and I, I'm, I'm I, I play one quick game and I get destroyed by all these little Asian kids. Like, what I is just, the game of choice? It's called Overwatch, right? Overwatch. And, and, it's a sex game. <laughs> <laughs> and. I, I, I look at the clock and I said, I have to go to bed. We've got an 8 a.m. start. Right. I have to go, but I'm excited from the caps. Like, I'm keyed up, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to have yeah. to wind and, down, even on TV if I'm watching And TV then I was like, down. well, I wonder if my friend Mac or Todd Moore are online. Mm-hmm. So I log on and I look at their little profiles and it says that they're in the battle net or whatever that is. But they're, hey. not, <sighs> but, they're, but they're not playing yet. They're not. There's no green light next to their avatar. They're not playing. In the right? battle net. Yeah. Take your pants off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to get naked and have a beer then we play. It's so, the battle net. 
without getting too geeky, I say, well, I'm going to I'm going to upgrade my avatar cuz I still have like the little egg that Twitter gives you, the the default, <laughs> right? So I said I want to put Quavo. my Yeah, I want to put my picture up or something that says, "Hey, I'm Oscar Santana and I'm a And PC immediately gamer. people will come to your side. Yes. To, uh, so you're looking for a little uh, human C- customization, something sure. like a getaway, right? All right. And I log into <laughs> <laughs> Mac's profile, and I was like, oh, I wonder what Mac has on his profile. And what I didn't know with these games is you can actually see their gamer stats. And one of their gamer stats is their their lifetime gaming value. Like how many hours yeah. or days or oh, minutes here we they go. have played oh, no. the game, All right. right? All right, very so good. So before I even click through to Max or Todd's, I click through the mine. I'm like, man, how many hours have I logged on this game already? Like, Because time flies by. Sure. What's your total? 51 minutes. Wow, and I'm near, like, nearly oh an God. hour. Like, so you haven't even done an hour. But it feels like forever when you don't have time, right? right. You're like, oh, I've been on this for a long time. No, that, 51 that, that, minutes. But, but were you expecting hours when you I did this? I was expecting you... hours. Two days. Okay, yeah. very good. All right, then very cool. I go to Todd's, and I'm like, man, Todd's you know, a media mogul. He's a software uh, you know, entrepreneur. Software guy. In the know. Not a busy man <laughs> in his own, right? Yeah, yeah. But Todd's been under the weather like, like really like a bad flu for two weeks, oh, no. right? Mono. So he's in front of his TV and that's all so, he's got. So I'm right? like, you're at home, you're gaming, I get it. He's got six days under his belt. I'm like, okay, six days, you've been sick for four, 14 what? days, the holidays were just here. He plays with his family, that's how okay. I got into okay. it, I get that. That's so fine. like what, six days, like 24 hours times six? Is yes. that what we're talking about? Because it hours. shows you in hours, it doesn't show you, I had to do the math, right? Wow, then, six days of gaming. Mm, then I said, well... The man probably has a be- a higher school, like, like a higher overall average than Mac does, because Mac is in school. He works at TMOS. Right. He yeah. like Mac, like Mac is. By the way, six days, six days of gaming is stunning to me. I mean, yes, that's, that's right. Because I remember when I was into a game, I'd log. I could log a couple of hours a day. Yeah, I could but, but, actually th- do that. But look, in Todd's defense, he this is the way he connects with his family and his niece and nephew play, and they all okay. get online. All right, that's, so a, lot, that's that. a lot. But of that hours. would be that, over two months of two hours a day. Right. That's right. a lot so, of time. That's a lot. That's so, a lot of gaming. So, and Pony, you want to tip in here? Yeah, is this uh, just this one game, Overwatch? This is just this uh, one game. Okay. All right, well, game. we got to we get okay. to the, I want the big, what's the Mac, man? What's the Mac stat? <laughs> Mac has played this game. For over 10 days. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One game. There he is. He there like he is, yes. Hours. That's why he hasn't edited five, your show. 500 hours plus. A little less Overwatch, a little more editing, please. Well, 500 fair, hours, Mac? Yes. Um, oh, my God. To be fair, I got it, like, I've had it twice as there, long as Todd. There is no excuse. Mm-hmm. I got this over a year ago. Have you heard of muscle tone or a tan? Something, man. You can't game. That's twenty one days. Twenty one days. Jesus. <laughs> twenty point eight three days. Oh, wow. Jesus like, Christ, sorry. Mac, I have only one question for you. Yes. Do you have any feeling in your fucking thighs? <laughs> I'm oh a gamer. My God. Oh, you're a gamer. Days. You're a gamer. Yeah. Five hundred like hours. and a half. Oh, over a year and that doesn't That's matter, fine. you slacker dude. You're almost at a month on. of your life. Oh has God. been spent gaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, that's just one of my games. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy. That's a good tip in Attaboy. there, young man. Well done. We love you, Mac. Uh, we got to take a break. We'll come back. I'll tell you. Got a movie review coming nice. up next right here on the Michael Mary Show. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to The Finer Things. I'm your host, Roger Caucasian. In this episode, I'd like to heartily endorse the Mike O'Mara bonus show. In the vast intellectual wasteland of podcasting, the Mike O'Mara bonus show is a rare example of refined and sophisticated humor. Excuse me. Its subtle, understated comedy comes from clever wordplay, pardon, thoughtful analysis of political and social trends, so sorry, and above all, never, ever stooping to the quote-unquote cheap laugh my apologies <laughs> the michael mara bonus show subscribe at michaelmarashow.com this has been the finer things <laughs> thank you very much very clever, very clever you want to give authorship on that one uh, that, that is brad good. lemley brad, brad lemley. lemley great job kill it 
Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Harry's. Got to uh, have that wonderful experience of switching out my Harry's razor today. Me oh. too. Oh, oh, oh. oh, God, it's right. great when they're brand new. Oh, it's oh, the best. Oh, my God, they're so nice. They're wonderful. For decades, one big razor company has consistently and relentlessly increased prices and reaped immense profits at the expense of their customers. So Jeff and Andy, these are two ordinary guys who were fed up with getting ripped off. They started Harry's. And uh, we've been using Harry's for a good long time because it's the best. Harry's knew that there was only one way to ensure a quality shave, so they bought their own factory by taking less profit and selling directly to you over the Internet. Listen to that. How many commercials do you hear anywhere where they talk about taking less profit? Where they actually put it in their ad. That's a huge deal for me. And that's why not only do I love the product, and now not only do I believe that the product has a tremendous amount of care put into it. By my, by the way, my cousin Teddy loves it as well. Oh, cool. Harry's offers their blades at half the price, just $2 a blade, compared to the $4 or more you'll pay at a drugstore. Harry's razors include everything you need for a close, comfortable shave like I had this morning. Weighted ergonomic handle, five precision engineered blades with a lubricating strip, a trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel. It's phenomenal travel blade cover. I shave with my Harry's every single day. You will love the smooth comfort, the best shave of your life. Harry's is so confident in the quality of their blades, they want you to try their shave set for free. You heard that right. Just cover shipping when you sign up. Plus, as a special offer, fans of the show, go to harrys.com right now and enter the code TMOS at checkout and get a post-shave bomb also free. That's harrys.com code TMOS. You owe it to yourself to try Harry's. I'll never go back. Give them the support. I'll never go back. Absolutely uh, the best. Okay, movie alert, movie alert. Uh, Mrs. O'Mara did not want to see Manchester by the Sea. So you actually went out to the theater. I went to the cinema. Uh, we have uh, the mother-in-law, and uh, she's in tow, and so the ladies are off doing what in they do, tow. going to the beach in <laughs> tow. And I said, Carla, oh, I'm going to yeah. uh, take a little mm. detour. I'm going to go off and see <laughs> Manchester <laughs> by the Sea in the Now. Now, this is a movie that is a critical darling. Everybody loves this I, film. I will tell you I loved it. And I think the only reason I loved it was because I am an Irish depressant. <laughs> that is the only reason. It is, it is without question uh, one of the most crushingly depressing films I have ever seen in my life. But he pulls it off. There's a reason they gave him the award. Casey Affleck, yeah. Ben's little brother, absolutely phenomenal. You are, you're just gutted by this performance during the entire film and it was it was amazing to watch i i just i i, I didn't think carla might have been bummed because it has one of those uh kind of weird endings where you know it's not storybook but sure. i'll tell you it was i i thought and is it uh uh is it michelle williams who's the uh the actress that's in it it's I'm michelle williams it. confirmed yeah. michelle williams who is uh you know, wonderful in it as well. Just really, really over. You the know, top Ben Affleck things. has turned in some pretty good performances. I really liked him in Argo, which is fairly recent. Casey Affleck. Yeah, but Casey what I'm Affleck. saying is this: is I've heard more than one critic say Ben is better behind the camera and let Casey be the acting Affleck. They say I that think, he is. I think Casey's phenomenal. a better actor. I think it's clear that Casey's a better actor. And the thing about Casey is that. You know, it does take place in Massachusetts, so he's got that Boston thing going, which is just so Wicked real and so <laughs> gritty and yeah. just... Uh, it also, you know, I heard this a long time ago that we are all two tragedies away from living out of a refrigerator I've heard box. that, yeah. And you watch this movie and you realize uh, how quickly things can turn. And it also makes you realize how quickly people judge and people are misinformed, and there's no empathy, especially if it involves, uh, you know, something horrible happening to children. It's just I found the film to be uh, like nothing I've seen, and I, like, I recommend it highly. Do you have to you take know? a Prozac before you walk in there? You're it's like, so depressing. Okay. It is. If you are looking Can't for, be the sad you know, can you draw a parallel to any other movie that you found as depressing uh, as this? Da, da, da. There was uh, the, the Sean Penn movie, Saw? Mystic River. Mystic okay, River. Okay, yeah, very wow. similar to Mystic River. <laughs> very similar. Very heavy. Very downer. But you know what? In this day and age, uh, you know, with the way everybody's feeling right now, it's kind of interesting. You know, it was. Uh, I, I just thought it was beautifully. Acted. And I can get by on great acting where you are in the moment with these actors because they are doing such a great job that you don't even realize you're watching the movie. And so that is my recommendation for that movie. It now, what fantastic. I'm curious, do you think it's like a best picture good? 
Ooh, uh, not best question. picture good, best performance good. I think okay. uh, the actors, the actors, not necessarily the story because it just doesn't. The story is not, you know, it, it doesn't take that much to tell the story, but the acting in it is that's what, what carries, so he could win an Academy Award. Uh, I think he could easily win an Academy. Wow. See, what's wild yeah, about absolutely. this is if you know you've got the pulse. You talked about the mood, sort of the uh, overall mood of the country right now that right. might be embracing it. But the other movie that is the critical darling is La La Land, which is a uh, for lack of a better phrase, a musical, right? A gay musical, a gay, gay meaning happy, hey! like, like in the classic sense of the Hollywood musical. Fantasy, it's yeah. a fantasy. And so oh, and the, I'm wondering yeah, which, great. you know, I think that is going to. That's next on the list. I want to see that. One. Me That's too, and I'm going to try this weekend to check it out. Right. But I'm curious. Why don't we go to together see... after the show? Okay, that'll be nice. You, uh, you at a musical? I'll be watching you and not the screen. Go to that uh, 9:30 a.m. matinee. <laughs> <laughs> right before the show. Yeah. Uh, and, and, but I yes. think that it'll be a comment on the mood of the Oscar electorate to see which movie gets embraced. The yeah, happier movie or the depressing movie. Yeah. And by the way, that press conference uh, with the uh, president-elect yesterday, get ready for a hell of a ride if we are going to have that with every uh, press conference when you're talking about shouting matches between reporters. Oh, I thought it was great that he closed with... I yeah. like that he closed with a... Uh, with his uh, catchphrase. It was like Billy Crystal having a press conference and saying, yeah. you look marvelous. Good night. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be. I mean, really, I mean, uh, you know, the, I I am stunned that uh, this is still rolling like this. This is the way it's going to be. Gonna be I think gold. That, yeah. there's, there's not going to be, there's not going to be any change. I think it's going to be, I think you have potential for any time there are press conferences for anything to happen. You it's know like a great wins. reality show, yeah. but it's CNN, the country. So, you know, Fox, yeah. Fox, uh, M- right. MSNBC, C-SPAN, I, like every news channel, that's right. all they were running. Yep. Yeah. And, like, and, and, they, and here's the thing. You got Fox defending CNN now. You uh, That's <laughs> yeah. an interesting deal when that crap starts Mike, I to I actually happen, have a song you know? for yesterday's press conference. I think this is quite appropriate. Anything can happen here on Anything Can Happen Day. Today is a day that is filled with surprises. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Not anything can happen there. What you might find yourself All right, thank you very much. Hey, listen, that's horrible. Uh, now we'll take a break here. When we come back, it's news you may not need right here on the Mike O'Mary Show. In the now? We'll be right back. I got to get that out of my head. Oh, my God. Nikki, you did it to me. We'll be right back. Everybody. Humanity has been faced with many great questions. Hi. Will Rob ever lose the weight? Will no. Oscar burn down his house and no. claim the insurance money? Will Mike ever shop in a place better than a Walmart? <laughs> How about this? Bottle or can? Does it really matter where your beer comes from? Well, guess what? In the TMOS Beer Enthusiast Club, we're going to be asking those questions and we're going to be talking all about it. We love TMOS and we love our beer. Come on in. Facebook.com and search. Search on TMOS Beer Enthusiast Club and join in on the fun. Man, I love the booze enthusiasts on this show. It's so much fun. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by our TMOS bonus packages. Are you all set for New Year? Huh? Are you do? Do you have all your ducks in a row? Do you? They teach you that? Have you uh, not heard of the bonus package? Oh, you silly rube. You see, each week we record a sixth episode of the show. It's uncensored, <laughs> commercial free, and it can be yours if you subscribe to the TMOS bonus package. <laughs> You get full access to all of the 2017 bonus content, plus the entire bonus show anthology at over a 25% savings. This is the time of year we ask you to step up, renew, gift, keep doing it. Right. Please keep those numbers going for us. We uh, communicated that to you, how important it is. I love TMOS. I want to do it for a long time. We need the support, yep. and we need the support to improve. That's the bottom line. These Hunyaks don't feed themselves. That's right. That's right, Hunyaks. Come on, MikeOmeraShow.com. Look for the Better Mark TMOS bonus packages. When you sign up, you'll get everything, the entire year of access from the day you sign up. Whether you want to buy it, give it, or renew it, click that bonus batter and get it done. And, yes, Pony, I know you hate me to say it, but you also might get that Christmas <laughs> album if you, uh, we actually, if you do that. He, they, they will. They will. Like, after the show, Did you talk after to him the about show. we had a big meeting about Very the good. process, and there everybody will get the album. Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, best, uh, May 2017, the best year ever for everybody. Just gotta, just gotta the TMOS it. bonus package. <laughs> Do it today in the now. News. News in the now. <laughs> Steve Harvey. Harvey. Is in trouble again. And this time, it don't have anything to do with Miss Universe, people. Oh, sex tape? On his show. Oh, this is hot. Uh, 
This is not cool. <laughs> we know this. We've been down this road a little bit. On his show this past Friday, show. he made fun of Asian men. And for some reason, the internet started picking up on it yesterday, and he's been getting some backlash. This is on his talk show? This is on his talk show. Okay. He showed the cover of a 2002 book called How to Date a White Woman, A Practical Guide for Asian Men. I guess he brought this out on his TV okay. show. Very shock jockey uh, to do it. Yep. And uh, yes, it's a real book, but he made fun of the idea of women being attracted to Asian men. Mm. Uh, he said the book would only be one page. Uh, and then he said, quote, excuse me, do you like Asian men? No, thank you. And that just is, that's all it took. Yeah. I mean, you can't wow. do it. You can't do it. I mean, you can't come out and just, uh, you know, do that with a group of people. And, uh, you know, it's. I've been it's a, burned personally. It, you've been and, burned. And something and, that I've, ne- by the way, I was on the radio. A comedian said, uh, would have been at that time, and I'm talking about eight years ago now. A different world. Uh, like a common joke, like you, you know, just just common throwaway, right. right? And he said it. We moved on, and then we were suspended for yep. four days. You just wow. have to be careful nowadays. Four and, days. You know, it just it doesn't us. matter. It doesn't matter. The joke it can be as lighthearted and as non mean spirited as possible. But the fact is, if you are making a stereotypical joke about an ethnicity, you're in trouble. And you're you not get in that trouble ethnicity. Now. That's the, and yeah. I am shocked. That's right. <laughs> you know, I'm not so shocked he made the ad lib, but mm-hmm. I'm shocked it saw the light of day. Because yeah. there's a lot of levels in television. It's yeah, interesting. it's uh, Very you know we can all get burned, and it's especially with think about the hours that, that not just you know professionals in radio broadcast, but in television. And he has both worlds. He has a radio show. Right. And he's got a television show. Two television shows. And then if, and the I guess it's the same. It's the same law of averages. When you have three highways, you got to hit before you get to work. You will eventually hit a traffic jam and be late to work. Yeah. The thing about Steve Harvey that uh, this is where I, I became. I am funny. It's funny that this came up. This story because I've talked about Steve Harvey and how what a perfect fit he is for the Family Feud. Yeah. Great host. And how the guy has really taken advantage of his opportunities. But then I've also seen the Steve Harvey online crap where he talks about you know you two realize your dream, be like me, stand. You know, that crap is believe in your own press. I don't care what you say. I will never believe it as anything other than I'm so special. Let me show you how I can do well, it. it. Just to because me, it, he can say, yeah. you know, top three answers on the board doesn't right. mean he's got it all figured out. Well, that, but he but he certainly when you look at this material, it seems like that. And I yes. think what happens when you get a guy that is believing his own press like he is and those ads show it this is the way he perceives himself you know do it like I did it and you'll be perfect like me mm-hmm. that's when the cracks form and that's when you have something like this where he slips up right. and when he had the Miss Universe thing I love the fact that he owned it when he did this thing it's, uh, it's a he separate, made, it's separate uh, different context Apple's just, he oranges. made a mistake okay. yeah. he made a mistake that uh, baby DJs don't make yeah okay yeah, so you're right. that's, uh, that, we'll have to wait and see what happens but uh, I don't think it's going to We'll grow see. that much hair. We'll see. A new study says there's actually been more gun violence in PG-13 movies than R-rated movies. Uh, really? Things started to turn in 2010 when PG-13 movies had a 1.76 instances of gun violence per hour, while R-rated films had 1.52. In 2014 and 2015, R-rated movies did uh, have slightly more gun violence, but both ratings were above the 2010 numbers. In 2015, PG-13 movies had more instances of gun violence per hour while R-rated ones didn't. Also, thanks in part to superhero movies, the gun violence in the top 30 grossing in the 30 top grossing PG-13 movies now exceeds the gun violence in the top R-rated movies. So, My Rogue yeah. One, all they had were these little laser guns. Yeah. yeah guns, right? guns, guns. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but it says PG-13 movies and can PG-13. be even worse for kids because they show the violence without showing the consequences like blood, gore, death, and trauma. Mm, sure. See, that's sense. the thing. I've always said this. If you show me a great violent movie like a Goodfellas, that violence is going to really go, oh, my God. Yeah. You, 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 you take that pause. Scorsese does it better than anybody. Well, since that stuff would warrant an R rating, you don't see it. So you don't see the aftermath when they're shooting 50 people. Uh, it's like being allowed to show people smoking cigarettes without being able to show people getting sick or dying. So What I they need to show is the lightsaber, a more elegant weapon. 
<laughs> from a previous yeah. age. And a lot of people die in Rogue One. No spoil alert. And I'll you boys like no Rogue One. I, I, I gave saw it my twice. review. I saw it twice. twice. You said, and you uh, worth every yes. minute. Yes, Both yes. Both times, good mm-hmm. times. Yeah. Slow at the beginning. I heard that's little uh, that's bit, the little yeah. bit. Okay. But man, the way the thing that is so cool about it, and this is not a spoiler. You could take the uh, you know the opening scroll at the beginning of the yeah. first Star Wars movie. If you cut that off, you could put the end of Rogue Run, Rogue One to the front of Star Wars, and it's a complete five-hour movie. It's just so Never beautiful thought of it that way, but he's right. He's yeah. absolutely right. It is so cool. Like Godfather One, you know when they did the Godfather epic? And, and if you watch it a hundred times, if it's a five-hour movie, you get the same amount of time that Mac game. That's right. <laughs> and by the way, I'm going to get that Tech Four One on up today. There you go. Right. Hey, Twenty-one uh, days, son. <laughs> Rob Spiewak, this one's for you. Thank you remember you. Love Connection with Chuck Willery? Yeah, right? we're back in two uh, and two. A new version is in the works, and this one will be hosted by yes. Andy Cohen. If you got a knee jerk against, it's not on ABC, right? Not no. on ABC. Bravo. No. Because what this is, this Fox. is this Fox. is this is yep. Fox's knee jerk against the what? the match game. Yep. They said the match game is working. What can we get? Oh. I think Andy Cohen is a good choice. I think he will well, work. I on do this. too. But you know do. what? Here's the problem. As like that, you we mentioned it before. Family Feud is a well constructed game show. It works. Mm-hmm. Love Connection sucks. It's we'll see never what happens. very good. Andy said, quote, hosting the new version allows me to do one of the things I love the most, meddling in people's personal lives. Mm. Uh, it's uh, basically, if you've never seen Love Connection, contestants go on blind dates, and uh, one of three candidates, uh, they discuss how they things went down, uh, and they do it on the show. Best Fox, 80s hair ever. Uh, YouTube you know, that. Yeah. I love, for a while, I was addicted to Love Connection. I love <laughs> watching it. Fox has picked it up, and an initial session with 15 episodes supposed to premiere sometime this summer. Uh, the rich get richer, though. Andy Cohen. Really yeah. doesn't need the gig, doesn't need the money, but that's he who's doing it. Uh, the format sounds the same, although this time the episodes will be an hour long instead of a half an hour. Whoa. What so. I like is uh, when the lady will turn to Andy Cohen and say, are you looking at me or not? <laughs> there you go. Uh, Rob thinks Andy Cohen's cross-eyed. Uh, now that the trailer for Urban Myths is out and everyone has seen Joseph Fiennes as uh, Michael Jackson, the uproar has begun. Uh, it's not surprisingly, Michael's daughter Paris is among the haters. She's not just unhappy about Joseph's portrayal of her dad, but for the way Stocker Channing plays Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, Paris she looks tw- so great as Liz Taylor, though. Paris tweeted, uh, quote, I'm so incredibly offended by it, as I'm sure plenty of people are as well, and it honestly makes me want to vomit. It angers me to see how obviously intentional it was for them to be this insulting, not just towards my father, but my godmother Liz as well. Oh, have you and seen as, did you I read see the that, trailer? it's like I want to drive to the theater now. Well, there's there's that. several plot lines in it, and what they do is they take stories that may or may not be true. It's and a they TV film or them. theatrical? It's a thea- oh, I thought it was a no, theatrical release. I'm almost positive it's TV. Let me but the two confirm. stories that uh, they have, Cary Grant when Cary Grant, the old actor, took LSD, they filmed that. But also, this is the alleged story, and I believe it's true, that after 9-11, Liz Taylor, Michael Jackson, and Marlon Brando left New York City by car. <laughs> and that's what they filmed. And they've got a guy that looks so much like Brando in the backseat. It's a panic. <laughs> okay, it is so funny. It. Very good. TV uh, film. Oh, it's a TV uh, film. Okay. TV it's film. a TV movie. The website 24-7 Wall Street just put together a list of the 10 most hated companies in America. The rankings are based on things like customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, customer service, and company policies. Let's get through them real quick. Here All we right. go. Check them out. Number 10, Sprint. Number 9, Sears. Number 8, Dish Network. Number 7, Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Number 6, Facebook. Number 5, Wells Fargo. Number 4, Mickey D's. Mm. Number 3, Myland. That's the uh, pharmaceutical company that jacked up the price of okay. EpiPens. Uh, number two, Bank of America. And the number one uh, most hated company in America, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Comcast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Who hates Sears? Sears yeah. is nice. Well, they I had a bad experience last year. Won't be able year. to hate them for long. Yeah, no, no, they're going to be true. gone. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a man, uh, now a little something, something Poor has been me. arrested for setting his underwear on fire in a Starbucks bathroom. Not Whoa. O- not okay. <laughs> yes. A uh, barista told police that on Tuesday she saw the suspect 
Randall Sullivan go into the bathroom, uh, noting that he stayed there for a long, long time uh, in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Oh, wh- what, of course, where was it? That's where it is. Port St. Lucie. Yes. Oh, yes, of course. After a while, the barista smelled what she thought was the oven. She checked the floor oh. and saw a lot of smoke and a pair of underwear burning. Police said that a customer stopped Sullivan and alerted some officers that were already in the Florida parking lot. Uh, the barista told police that she did not see anyone else go into the restroom. Once police searched him, (laughs) they found a lighter. You search anybody in Florida, you'll find a lighter. Sure. (laughs) I mean, that's not a big deal, but they found it in his pocket. Sullivan has been charged with arson, so apparently they tied it to him, and it leads me. We haven't done one all week, so here it is, boys. Today's Florida slogan of the day. See, this is a new motto for the state, right? Yes, please. Because this guy was busted for setting his underwear on fire. Florida, (laughs) why wash it when you can burn it? (laughs) There you go. Good stuff. We'll take a break. Did it Come burn back, a long stuff. time like a tire fire? Oh, I'm sure. It could be. It's probably still burning. That elastic. Let me uh, let me look out the window. Yep, there's a stream of black smoke. Still going. We'll take a break. Come back with Rob's little sounds right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. Hey there. This is Katie. With all the diet resolutions of the new year, tune in to get your calorie-free cake and cookies. Find us at MikeOmeraShow.com. It's no fruitcake, but it'll certainly satisfy your sweet tooth. And fuck you, Rob. What? He's cake. <laughs> she's cookies. It's Rob <laughs> and wow, Katie. Wow, that sounds alcohol-fueled there with that one. That might have been I pills and laugh. alcohol. I like that. Painkillers uh, and beer. Turn into this week's episode. Welcome uh, back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Amazon. Hey, we love Amazon. You will, too. It's time to get back to shopping through our Amazon portal. If you haven't shopped Amazon through us before, what the heck are you waiting for? Whether you need gloves, mittens, heated socks, a thermal blanket, or a festive ice cube mold, if you're in Florida. (laughs) (laughs) Tropical drink in the know. Gloves. 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 Hello, glovey, glovey, gloves. Gloves. Amazon has it, so you can get it. Amazon.com has everything you need. At the best prices, just make sure to go through our website. (laughs) It doesn't cost you any extra, and it's the best and easiest way for you to support your friends here at TMOS. If you need it or want it, Amazon has it. Go to MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. Click the Amazon button on our website or use the TMOS app and click on the shopping cart and shop like you normally would. Thank you. And now back to the show. Let's open it up. This is the Audio Vault for Thursday, Jan 12, 2017. I love it when great things happen to great people. Check out the guy who's voicing this uh, promo on Fox for the NFC Divisional Playoffs. Sunday, the hunt for the NFC title continues. Aaron Rodgers leads the Packers into Dallas to battle Dak, Zeke, and the dominant Cowboys. The NFC Divisional Playoffs, Sunday at 4 Eastern, only on Fox. Dude Walker, yeah. Dude voicing Walker, a voice football promo. Fo- love it. Sounds like voice sex. Fox. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. Dude, call me. I got, a great, oh, I got wow. a, good e- a great email from him yesterday. He says, guess who's not just doing booth for podcasts anymore? Yeah, can you, that's can, good. Can you play that again? That is Absolutely. so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I was thrilled for it. Playoffs. Sunday, the hunt for the <laughs> NFC title continues. Unbelievable! Aaron Rodgers leads the Packers into Dallas to battle Dak, Zeke, and the dominant Cowboys. Oh, that is great. The NFC Divisional Playoffs, Sunday at 4 Eastern, only on Fox. Good for you, dude. That's our so, guy, dude. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I mean, man. as much as I am uh, sad my Giants are uh, booted out of it, I am really looking forward to that. That is going to be a great football game. It I think is. those are the two best teams uh, that uh, that are in the playoffs competing with one another. Dallas, Green Bay, old school. You know, hey, you can't argue with it. It's is it in Green Bay? Fan. Huge. Uh, uh, or in Dallas. I mean, Do we I know where it's in Dallas? Dallas. in Dallas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, look at Mac with his game. That's right. He, Five, he said it's going to be in Dallas for 500 hours. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, that was a good read. Uh, this is not a good read. Have you heard that Tom Brady is selling underwear? He's selling oh, Brady he sells that. anything. Yeah. His own? Or? Yeah, he's he a is. Hua. Well, he set it, it on fire. He's a whore. What? He's a whore. <laughs> no, I believe he is in, um, he's he's formed an alliance with Under Armour. I could be wrong. Uh, let me double check. But the, uh, the brand of underwear is called TB12, Tom Brady 12 underwear. <laughs> and he issued a thing, I think this was on Twitter yesterday, where he's pretending to be The Rock. So here's Tom Brady, master impressionist. Hey, Rock. What kind of sleepwear are you sleeping in? It doesn't matter what kind of sleepwear you're sleeping in. Yeah. Because I wanted to give you a heads up. 
that Under Armour and I are going to send you some of my new TB12 sleep. I'm really excited about it. And they're key for me in helping my body. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Here's the thing that's really. great. The Rock responded and tore him up. Here's The Rock <laughs> talking to Tom Brady. Sweet tap dancing baby Jesus. What in the f did we just watch? Oh. Thomas, what was that? I mean, you're sitting there, you're sitting on, on, on some rocks, which I guess that's supposed to be profound because my name is The Rock, and your legs open like Kermit the Frog, like you're getting ready to sing Rainbow Connection for Christ's sakes. What are you doing? Lovers, the dreamers, and me. <laughs> that? A Jets fan? Thomas, did you really think that that was a I'm really- It doesn't matter! What? <laughs> oh, I love He's a funny, funny man. And Mike, you predicted it. Superstar. Yep. Absolutely. Has his own superstar. sneaker. Yeah. I yeah. was in yeah. the Under Armour store, That's... has his own sneaker. He's yeah. in the I, I, I said it about rock? 15 years ago, to be honest. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Oscar, I pulled this for you. Ed Sheeran, the uh, singer, was on a British radio yesterday. And they, Dreamy. And they, they had yeah, an acoustic guitar, and they asked him to do a song that uh, would be unexpected. Ooh. Here's an acoustic version of a song that is not normally done acoustically. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who are up to no good to make a trouble in my, my neighborhood. neighborhood. <laughs> I got him one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle and Bella. I was for a cab and when it came near the license plate said fresh and I had dice in the middle. And anything I could say to this cab was where, but I thought, now nah, forget it, yo homes to Bella. <laughs> the theme, of course, to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, I love that. You know, that is awesome. I, th that's I don't get I don't get jealous. Really, it's just rare. It's rarely that I celebrate people's good fortune. But when I hear a guy who's already successful in his own right, yeah. just be able to pull that because I wonder what this would sound talent. like. It's talent. That is just talent. Such great. Talent. Love is absolutely right. That's right? what it is. It's talent, and that's why you celebrate Man. it. Love we it. do that on this show. That's something we are consistent about on this show. I don't think we suffer fools on this show, and we also like guys that have a lot of talent. And, and a lot of that, gaming. Yeah, yeah, and gamers. 500 <laughs> hours of talent. Ooh. All right, uh, I know we're running a little late, but I got two I got to get in here quick. Uh, somebody played. Fox station in Philadelphia. They obviously sent them like a news release or something that uh, had detail because they went into it. <laughs> Listen to this clip from uh, the Fox News, not Fox News, but the Fox, the local Fox affiliate. Thank the you. Affiliate. In uh, Philadelphia, and I'll explain why it probably went wrong after the tape. Philadelphia boxing legend Joe Frazier <laughs> celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, oh. Joe! Also giving back to the community. He is going to be meeting with friends and supporters it. at City Hall. Pause it. Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm. He's de Joe Frazier's dead. He's five dead, years. Right? Yeah, he's been yes. dead. Joe been Frazier's dead. dead. I knew years? that immediately, that Joe Frazier. And oh. they got his birthday wrong. Oh. And he's been dead for five years. <laughs> but let's let them promote his appearance, which, by the way, is going to require a shovel. This evening at 6 o'clock, to honor championship youth boxing teams and coaches, this year marks the 45th anniversary of Joe Frazier's gym located in North Philadelphia. The space has been used to develop several young athletes. He's turning 73 years old today. He really is a legend. Such a force. And the other guy, <laughs> such a <laughs> force. Yeah. Hi there, anchored, uh, anchored. Uh, you like you can't look. You can't you can't cover it all. You, no. you, stuff slips through the cracks. But, but that that's, one, you, you talk about the layers. You know, you really talk about the layers. You know, I mean, they might as well so come an, out and make fun an of Asian men. That wrote it. As an intern right. that wrote it, was like, oh, yeah. Joe Frazier today. <laughs> What's yeah, great is saying. when it comes to that male anchor, Mike, on this show, we celebrate talent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. Let's close with this. Uh, yesterday on Good Morning America, Charlie Sheen was on. He was uh, being interviewed, and <laughs> he said that the reason the whole tiger blood thing came up, that was he was just in total roid rage for that whole segment of his life. But I, he whatever also, other drugs he was on. He claims that he's better now, but I just want you to listen to him talk here. Please. And uh, see if you think he sounds good. I think good. he's probably still doing the smokes, right? I think well, he's never be. given that up. Gotta be. But right. I, I just think he sounds good. I think ultimately, in our in our in our blueprint, in our in our DNA, I I I I, I believe that we are the uh, the 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 sum total of, of of all of our experiences, good and bad. You know, it's 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 fun to kind of watch sometimes, but also just a little bit cringeable. It's like, dude, what the hell was that? Edits. Huh, weird. No wow. edits. But uh, we wish him the best. Tiger as blood. We, as we celebrate talent, that is your magic audio vault. <laughs> Have a great Thursday, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>
Win, 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 win. Uh, win that's in. it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us uh, for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. Our snail mail address is TMOS PO Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. If you want to send a birthday uh, or message for our weekly mailbag, we had a great one today. Postcards uh, What do you got in well. your hand? Love oh, postcards. postcards. Going from yes. Disney in Shanghai. Ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah, you can send postcards, too. And uh, if you want to send anything, it's Rob with two Bs at MichaelMarishShow.com. Thanks for all the years of amazing support for TMOS. And continue to spread the word about our show all over the world. For Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana, and our executive producer, Matt Pony Boy Blue. In the now. This is Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us again for your favorite part of the day, the Mike Show. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. One last thing. Please remember that MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon is the best way to shop for anything and everything. So, shop Amazon and get there through our website. Always open at MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. Now, go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs>